He knows who He created. And this is what I want to conclude today with. Allah knows, He says, Allah ya'lamu man khalaq. Doesn't He know who He created? Allah knows what temptations you have. Allah knows what laziness you have. Allah knows what tendencies you have, what temperament you have. You know, you would think, oh, my therapist understands me. Allah understands you a lot better than your therapist. Uh, you know, you could say, oh, the only one who gets me is me. Nobody really gets me. Well, Allah gets you pretty good. He gets you better than you get yourself. Well, you know, in Allah alimun bidat is sudur. Allah is fully knowledgeable of what goes on inside the chest. There are stuff happening in my subconscious. I don't even know about it. Allah does. Allah knows my conscience and my subconscious better than I do. I can have dreams and wake up and not remember. I, I think I was driving a truck. I don't remember. But Allah knows exactly what you dreamt too. He knows every neuron that's firing inside of my mind. So when He lays out a plan, follow these rules and you will have ease. It's not just from the point of view, oh, oh, this is just Allah wants me to do this, but He doesn't get my situation. No, nobody gets your situation better than Him. Nobody understands you better than Him. Nobody you know, knows what I need. I don't even know what I need, what is good for me better than He does. Once I let to, let you know, let myself go. I'm not the biggest. I'm not the biggest authority on deciding what's good for me. In fact, the greater authority is Allah. That is another meaning of Allahu Akbar. Allah is in fact greater. He decides. He's going to tell me what is good for me, and when He tells me, I'm going to trust what He's saying. And when I go with that, I'm going to see ease come my way in ways I didn't even imagine. Allah describes this phenomenon. He says, "وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ." He says, whoever can be mindful of Allah, whoever decides to protect themselves from making Allah unhappy, Allah will make a way out for them. Whatever feeling, anxiety, constriction, you know, whatever um, you know, unrest they have inside of them, whatever unmet you know, calmness that they don't feel, whatever disturbance a person feels inside of them, Allah says, Allah will make a way out for them. And then what will he do? He'll provide that person from places they couldn't even imagine. They couldn't calculate, they couldn't project. That's where Allah will bring provision from. You know, shaitan comes to us and he says, listen, if you follow Allah's way, you're just going to get deprived, man. You're not going to get to live. You're just, live, live a little. Just enjoy yourself. Why are you being so hard on yourself? Why are you being so strict? Right, so words like strict, hard on yourself. Iblis wants to associate those words with with Allah's deen. Oh, Islam is strict. Islam is hard. You know, Islam is tough. Those words, when we associate them with our deen, that's a trick of shaitan. What words did Allah associate with our deen? Lightening of a burden, the opposite. He associated ease. He associated ease with it. The opposite of what Iblis wants us to believe. 